In this video, we are going to talk about how to create descriptive analytics reports like Rival IQ. And in this process, we are going to use the data that you have downloaded in previous step in Excel format from your Rival IQ account. And we are also going to discuss the mathematical equations and Excel equations uh, to calculate all these indicators and how you can use Excel to create these types of bar charts and line charts. Now before moving forward with this particular process, let us revise the social nudging way of social media analytics itinerary. In previous videos, we have discussed about this particular itinerary model where the definition of descriptive analytics was it lets you know what has happened. In the same way, Rival IQ lets you know what has happened with your company profile as well as your competitors' company profiles. And in this video, we are going to discuss how you can create that kind of descriptive analytics with the help of data that you have downloaded from your Rival IQ account. So, in previous videos, we have discussed that there are basically nine types of descriptive analytics reports that you get from your Rival IQ account and we are going to discuss each of these reports and how you can create that kind of graph or that kind of bar charts and pie charts or, or line charts. So the first one is page likes. Okay. Page likes, the definition of page likes in Rival IQ is given as the number of people that have liked this company on Facebook. In the same way, they have defined the Twitter followers, the number of people following this company on Twitter, and for Instagram, the number of people following these companies on Instagram. So the basic definition is same, only difference is in, for Facebook, it is liked by and Twitter followed by and Instagram followed by. So this is the difference but the other definitions for this page likes followers and followed by are same. So if you look at their graphs also for page like or for followers and on Twitter and this is followed by in Instagram you can see that these graphs are almost same. Okay so let us see how you can create this bar chart okay from the downloaded data from rival iq now for this process i am going to use microsoft excel 2010 so if you don't have 2010 2007 is also good if you have 2013 then you can also uh, go forward with my uh, tutorial process so let us move on to my excel document so this is the bar chart for Facebook page likes provided by Rival IQ and this is the data that you have downloaded for Facebook like. Now this data is not in the proper order of this particular bar chart. Okay, So the first step is just come here then go to data use this uh, short option expand the selection click short short by Facebook page likes smallest to largest okay now it, it is organized from the smallest number to the largest number now your job is to select this come to insert bar charts 2d bar and this is your bar chart now delete this Come here, just write page likes. Now it's page likes. Remove this one. Remove this one. Come here in the layouts option. Data labels outside and you get these levels. So this is your page likes bar chart. Now what if you select or you arrange this data or short this data not smallest to largest but largest to smallest now your graph is just reversed so what you need to do is just click here have this layout option come to access 
go to your primary vertical axis more primary vertical axis option and create categories in reverse order now you get that same kind of graph so it is better to arrange this data from smallest to largest so the excel is automatically going to select or give the first position to the largest value okay so this is how you can create the bar chart for page likes or twitter followers or instagram followed by so in the next step we are going to learn how to calculate and create graph or report for percentage change in page likes the next descriptive report that arrival like shows you is called page likes percentage change or in other words growth rate now the way rival like defines this is the relative change since the previous period okay at this moment you need to know two things there are two types of difference in analytics one is called absolute difference and second one is called relative difference the absolute difference gives you the real number difference between two data and relative difference gives you the scale of difference between two data and most of the time it is expressed in terms of percentage for example if you have these two data called x is equal to 35 and y is equal to 30 then absolute difference between these two numbers are 5 but when you are going to calculate relative difference between these two numbers and it will be 16.67 percentage and it is calculated on the basis of this mathematical equation okay so page likes percentage change or growth rate shows you the relative difference between the the previous period and the present period okay so this is how rival like you shows you the graph now before going forward with our excel equations and other mathematical equation let us go back to the rival like you dashboard where i'm going to show you where you can find this absolute data and relative data now this is your rival like you dashboard and you need to come down over here and click my charts and in the my charts option you will find this link called custom chart creator when you click this you'll get various options like twitter or facebook or instagram or uh, google plus youtube etc etc now let us select facebook and uh, select page like uh, you can select all these options let us select page like and then graph type now if you click change versus compare period you'll find this and if you come here it will show you the absolute number which is 12,330 27 for this one is 5882 this one is 3596 and if you come here to see the defi definition you'll find that the absolute change since the previous period in the same way if you come down here and click percentage change versus compare period you will find this in percentage okay and if you see the definition it says the relative change since the previous period so this is the two difference absolute and relative now one more thing you need to do uh, which is going to help you for our next discussion and video tutorial about analytics is download all this data in excel format okay so what you need to do select facebook select page like and then select 
daily values okay you come here for daily values for so uh, rival iq is going to give you 30 days excel data for daily values so you need to download that for page like for post for engagement total average engagement total and everything and let me show you how you are going to do that previously i have shown you how you have to have different folders for uh, facebook instagram or twitter now for facebook you have excel report pdf reports ppt report inside excel reports you have nine options that initially i have shown you then you create another folder called daily where you are going to download the six types of data rival iq post daily facebook post per day and uh, facebook post engagement total then post engagement rate then facebook average engagement rate and average engagement total all this data for the daily values okay so this is where you can find these two types of difference that is absolute difference and relative difference now we are going to go back to our excel formulas and equations so this is your excel data for percentage change in facebook page like and when you are going to open this excel you are going to find this long data but this is nothing like percentage because this data is shown in general format so what you need to do you need to convert this data format into percentage so come here and just click this and just increase the decimal value and you'll find that this is the actual percentage change in Facebook page like okay and this is how this graph is uh, shown in rival IQ don't go for this particular values because I have downloaded this data uh, previous day and this image is uh, from other day so this percentage value has changed now uh, this is uh, this is how the graph is going to look and I'm going to create this graph depending on this data value okay now how to calculate this particular percentage change or growth rate okay there are three ways you can do that the first option is what if you have only this data available the absolute change and the previous period Facebook page like so in that case the equation is absolute change divided by previous period page likes multiplied by 100 and you will get this value so the excel equation is if the absolute change is in c column and previous period page like is in d column then for the percentage change in the e column e2 cell is c2 divided by d2 multiplied by 100 the second way you can calculate this particular percentage change or growth rate and what if you have only these two value available with you that is present facebook page like and previous period page like so the the equation is present date fan numbers minus past date fan numbers divided by past date fan numbers multiplied by 100 and the equation is b2 minus d2 divided by d2 multiplied by 100 if the present facebook page like in b say, column and the previous period page like in d column the third equation is a pure excel equation and it is written with if function and the equation is if d2 is equal to 0 then give the value of d2 cell 1 otherwise execute this formula called b2 minus d2 divided by d2 and multiply the outcome with 100 and you can find this equation is in e2 e3 and e4 cell and how you can write an if function click any of the cell type equal to then if and first bracket then excel is going to give you this equation the logical test in this equation the logical test is if d2 is equal to 0 and 
if that is true give the value of the d2 cell as 1 and if we if it is not right or it is false then execute this formula b2 minus d2 divided by d2 and whatever outcome you get multiply that outcome with 100 okay so if i change this value of d2 cell from 3 115,000 to 0 then the percentage value changes to 100 why because when it is 0 the value of d2 cell is 1 and it is multiplied by 100 so the value of e2 cell became 100 okay so this is how we calculate the percentage change or growth rate for your Facebook page or your Twitter page or your Instagram page. Now to create the bar chart for the percentage change, open your Excel data from Rival IQ and convert this data from general to percentage value and add two decimals and then you need to short this data the way you have done that for page likes come here in the data section click short option select your Facebook percentage change smallest to largest click OK now this data is rearranged according to the smallest number to the highest number and then you select your entire document come to insert option click bar to D bar you have got your graph delete this one delete, delete these lines come here write percentage percentage change delete this option also come here in the layout option data levels outside end and you have got your values okay but what about this plus sign or maybe minus sign so to get plus and minus sign click this option come here again into the data levels come more options select numbers and remember this one is the percentage value so go to the percentage value and you can see that the percentage value is 0.00 percentage so what you need to do is just type plus 0 0.00 percentage colon minus 0 0.00 percentage colon 0 0.00 and click add now you can see this is plus value okay and for if you want to change it to for some reason if this is a negative growth for example if I change this value to minus 2.33 percent let us see what is going to happen so you have the minus sign over here okay if, if there is a negative growth so this is how you can bring plus sign and the negative sign into your data levels so this is it for this video tutorial, we are going to discuss the other types of descriptive analytics and how to create them and what is the equation to create them in the next videos. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.